This episode is dedicated to the loving memory of Anne Snyders. May your adventurous spirit shine on through those that you have inspired for generations to come. Recent events have brought to light for us, more than ever, the importance of doing things when you can, not when you're ready. Life is too short, so get out there, embrace the day, be you, and chase what you love. And they're off, only after three attempts. That's gonna be a record, three attempts only. Love you, Grandma. Wear Slim and Soap. Two years ago, we set off to sail the east coast of Australia in our 10 meter sailboat, Nakama. While studying from our laptops and making these videos for you. So it's like, I didn't know can I know. try and catch the train? <laughs> it's safe to say we've had the time of our lives chasing our tails ever since. Recently, our plans have become increasingly ambitious. We've just set off to start our next leg of sailing around Australia. Welcome to episode three of season two, Over the Top. So nice having a working with us again. Good morning. It's the morning. Oh, about six in the morning. going somewhere very exciting where the mountains are tall and big mm. and a waterfall flows over the ridge. Oh my god! No, it's <laughs> oh, We're jumping upon a perfect weather window for an anchorage that we have wished to get to for a very long time. This anchorage needs basically no wind from the north to south to comfortably stay in, which by some miracle has arrived. This does mean though that we will most probably be motoring all the way there. Toast a la tomato. Hey, look at that. The wind's just come a little bit more to the beam and we've just managed to turn the engine off, which is really nice. How good sailing. How good sailing. How good sailing. Hey? <laughs> I'm I got my power station up there, my weather station up here, okay? All on a floating home. We've even got a massive radar that doesn't work. It just sits there to make the boat look good. So our first season we sailed around with a radio aerial that wasn't crimped into the radio. That's how good we were. And when we were raiding people we wondered why they wouldn't pick up. But every time we tested it in the marina it was with mates and the actual aerial within the radio would make it that fast. So we'd be like, yeah, it's working, what do you mean? And then we'd go sailing and try and radio someone and be like, fuck, ah, why is it working? <laughs> Check your connections. Check your connections. And our defense was, we were pretty green, eh? <laughs> Definitely not green anymore though, more of like a, like a khaki green, you know? Like olive, I reckon. We're an olive green. Yeah, like seasoned olives. Okay. Go, not the Kalamata type yet though, still a bit yeah, greener than that. Yeah, because olives are like never really ripe, are they? You know what I mean? Olives are actually not really the colour olive either, are they? <laughs> probably, I could probably slip a subscriber pitch in here. Yeah. Thanks God. for coming. Come again. It's easier to come again if you get notified when we're here. And a fast and free way to do that is by pressing the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And YouTube thinks we're totally rock stars when you do it and more other people are more inclined to see our videos. So help us out, help yourself out. Help the, help the planet out really by hitting subscribe. It's free. There's not much free in this world and I guarantee you pressing that subscribe button's not gonna cost you a cent. 
If you want to spend some money, sign up to our Patreon page and we'll take your money there. But the subscribe button's free. <laughs> Alright, until next time, end the episode here. No, I'm just kidding. We still got stuff to do today. We're about halfway to our destination. Also, it is a beautiful day today. We're on! It's all schooly. Or, um. Nah, he's, that's his lunch. <sighs> Done? Yeah. Oh. So he's just a little spot at school, Mackie. Um, he looks a bit like a good lunch size for us. He put up a good fight on the way in, but unfortunately the hook sort of went through and got his eyeball. Sort of, he'd half-brained himself already, so he didn't get to fight another day. Um, and yeah. We will very much enjoy it. We're only 15 miles from our final destination. Our final destination. Nothing like a plate full of fish for your lunch. Freshly caught by Slim. Round of applause, everyone. He's done it. Queensland's best fish catcher. He's done it. <laughs> How many times have I caught you with firing solo? <laughs> They look so much better with two. I thought you were admiring the view, but you're just staring straight at the solar. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, the islands are nice, but the solar panels are... No, I was just watching because they dropped a little bit, and I was like, yeah, okay, one of them's gone in the shade of the sail. But this is the beauty of having two. We've still got one juicing it. Just juicing them in. That's my boys. The solar panels keep my power bricks downstairs juiced. I can see the high peaks and smell the grass. We're only six miles away. I'm so excited. Oh boy. Yeah. That's what we got it. I told you there would be mountains as high as the sky. Actually, I can't remember what I said. What did I say? I told you there was going to be big mountains with small big mountains. <laughs> Just layers and layers of mountains. It's probably going to be very rolly in here. Oh, there's a little bit of swell. Australia, come on down. You never know what's on your doorstep. Open your door up, you might find something just like this in Australia. You might find a dude with a shitty hat like this as well. You never know what you're going to find, but man, some of it's really beautiful, eh? Really do need a new hat. A little bit rolly. It's a little bit rolly. So I was like, no, it's not even rolly. Yeah, because I just want, I didn't want us to give any reasons to not be here. We're going it's here. It's rolly. We're here now, it's not going. We're here. We made it. Being wide open to seawood, this bay really is only for glass out conditions.
With about five knots of wind, there's still a bit of roll coming through, but you'd be hard pressed to get conditions here much better than this. As you may have noticed by our reactions on arrival, this place is spectacular. If this isn't Never Never Land, I just don't know what is. And will be worth copying a few bad nights sleep in order to experience it. Anchored within the embrace of these ginormous mountains, Nakama is perched up with a view you simply can't achieve from land. We're pinching ourselves that the weather gods allowed the stars to align so we could finally get here. First taste of soft water. I'm getting eaten by midges, but it's well worth it because the sun is going down behind this massive peak and it's so beautiful. Insane. I can't believe mountains can be so high. And I'm sure these aren't even tall mountains compared to somewhere else in the world. Back to our rolly boat. I'm so excited to be on that rolly boat. I think the rolliness is worth the view, isn't it, babe? Oh! <laughs> Good morning. We've just been to the beach and picked up a coconut. My feet, I'm sliding. <laughs> no. You're so close. <laughs> I wasn't. Hopefully, this is still okay. It doesn't sound super liquidy. There's definitely some liquid in it. Shouldn't be good. On one. I need to get a machete. This is my excuse to own a knife. Because I was going to have to use my hacksaw. And I'm hoping we can make some coconut pancakes out of them. For Simon's attacking it with his hacksaw to get all the goodnesses. Nice, babe. I'm not going to say I'm the first person to ever open a coconut with a hacksaw. I definitely wouldn't recommend it, although it seems like it's possible. Wouldn't recommend it. It is possible. I wouldn't say I'm the first person, but I've definitely never seen anyone else do it before, personally. <laughs> And now I know why. But, you know, where there's will, there's a way. It's the best thing we had on the boat. I don't have a chisel in here. You know, that's all you got this one. This galley window view is literally something you'd see in, like, a Windows default screensaver you know the ones like exotic places that nobody ever knows where it is it looks like that it looks like it's been copied and pasted in my window frame pretty cool I know he's made a mess hasn't he look at that mess chili Definitely getting a machete. Yes. That was quite juicy. Hey! Ah. Ooh, make 
make some pancakes out of that. Oh, yeah, that one looks like a good juicy one. Do you want a coffee? Coconut coffee? Man's breakfast. I shit my man breakfast. I opened up with a shifter and a f***ing axle. F*** you. <laughs> now, the most exciting bit of having coconut is that Miles has gifted us a special coconut tool that he brought back from Sri Lanka and I'm so excited to use it. No, it's not yet. Yeah, I think you're right, like you can't not have ocean swell. No. Like it's always going to be like a little bit rolling here. Yeah. Anything, I'm, yeah, I can say it's just it's gonna stick. I might need some more flour to make it less moist. The secret was the hot pan. Hot pan. Hot pan. Hot pan. Pancake a la island coconut. I think it's this. Living off the, our idea of living off the land. It's like we'll fetch one coconut, turn it into pancakes with yogurt and honey. <laughs> Although, this honey came from Percy Islands. So. We are living off the island. Living off the island. But islands. Living, we're living off the islands. And, yesterday we got that fish from the other island. So we're not living off the island, we're living off the islands. And a little bit of coal, some always. Does it taste right? Oh, it tastes so good. The coconut gives it like a really nice texture and flavour. <laughs> it gives them like a crunch. Can you right. taste the coconut though? Yeah. This is only just the beginning. There is ooh, a whole other level to this waterfall. We made it! I think we've found our new favorite place. <laughs> I was at this dog, big thud behind me. <laughs> there we are, sailors, after all. Look at me, tying knots on a boat. <laughs> we'll see you then.